This device here is a soldering iron temperature monitor. It's used for calibrating soldering irons, and the reason I got it was because I'd got this uh, cheapo Yehua soldering iron, and I was struggling to get it set up to the right temperature because its calibration seemed off. And initially I thought, well, I've got a little cheapy eBay-ish thermocouple here. It, yes, it is 11 degrees centigrade in this house at the moment. That's quite cold. But that's the temperature I normally quite like. And what, what I thought I could do was just stick some solder on a solder iron, just to wet it, and uh, then put it against the thermocouple. And sometimes it gives a fairly accurate reading, like right now, and sometimes it doesn't. It was very sort of random and unpredictable. This is possible because you're effectively adding another metal into the mix when the solder touches the junction, because a thermocouple is just a junction of two dissimilar metals bonded together. And uh, the solder probably doesn't help when it bridges that. So I was getting weird readings. Um, and I kept misadjusting the electronically controlled solder iron until it got very, very hot. And the actual, the iron tip, I suddenly realised it was glowing red hot. It actually went, it went cherry incandescent. So I thought, right, OK, let's uh, stop doing that now until I can find something. Because um, I thought it'd be quite interesting finding uh, a proper um, soldering station uh, uh, thermal meter. So... Here it is. Now, I don't know if this is actually made by Hako or not. I, I think it might be a knockoff. But the idea is you've got a ther thermocouple in here with a little sort of like a, a little crimp in the middle. And you put a touch of solder on your solder iron, your nice clean solder iron, and you touch it to the crimp. And it shows that this time, this iron's about 370, well, 369 when it's, when it's just uh, in free... Uh, st when it's freestanding, when it's not uh, in use, because as you use it, of course, that takes some of the heat away, but just passive in the, the uh, stand, it's going up modestly high. And I've duly calibrated ish this one. It's currently displaying 300 degrees centigrade, but it's, uh, it's going to float higher than that. And this one is displaying, yeah, about the same, 367. So the calibration is pretty much well off then. But 300 is a good round value for, uh, just a, as a reference. In hindsight, I'd say if you get one of these Yehua type, these electronic soldier irons with the digital readouts, with, the, you know, the base unit, um, the best way to actually determine the correct soldering temperature is to get a nice clean tip to your soldering iron and uh, get some solder on, uh, adjust the temperature up until it melts and then just find what temperature just disregard actual temperature and degrees centigrade. Just go by the number on the display, nudge it up and down until you find the, the temperature that works well for you in normal soldering. That's probably the best way to calibrate it without any specific equipment. However, uh, this is quite an interesting device in its own right. So I'm just going to unplug these solder irons and put them away. I didn't realise this went up quite so high, but that's OK. It's never given me any problems. And I'll put the little cheapy away which is useful in its own right. So this unit here comes with these uh, thermocouples and you get packs of them because it turns out that these are disposable. You can only use them a certain number of times and then you push this button at the back and the top pin moves down and then you're supposed to just lift this off. Oh, it's not lifting off. There we go. And put a new one on. And they've got these little bits of a uh, coloured sleeve on them that you just match to the appropriate dot here. So if you were putting a new one on, and I'm not actually sure 100% how, how many uses you get out of this, I think the point is that the the little crimp there, the little bond, um, is designed to uh, keep the solder directly off the thermocouple so it doesn't actually affect it. Um, and that may, it may ultimately be that it degrades or gets contaminated or, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But they do recommend a certain number of uses and then change it. So this just hooks over there. Hooks over there. It's not hooking over there. It's not hooking over there at all. Oh, it's so springy. I just so ham fisted tonight. I've not really had much cider yet, so why is this happening? Maybe it's just because I am ham fisted. Or maybe it's just because I, I've just bent and twisted this one into a completely odd shape. So, um, yeah, so 
This one goes over there. Oh, I'm not doing this very well at all, am I? I'd be a really good salesman for these, wouldn't I? Every time I touch it, it pings off. And then you just push the button at the end, hook that over, and it pulls them taut, and then you can just push them down into whatever position you want. So let's, uh, let's open it. Oh, that should be out for a start, shouldn't it? Uh, oh, I don't normally like leaving the original batteries that come with these um, in them because uh, they can they can leak. I don't want to do that, so that's uh, getting replaced. So, uh, screwdriver. I don't know if I needed to do that. Take the battery out. But having said that, I do need to take the battery out because uh, I don't want that battery in it, because the, the, there's oh, cheap zinc chloride batteries, the heavy duty ones uh, are prone to leaking. Oh, that's not, that's not reaching up to the end there. That's uh, not the right size of screwdriver, but it is undoing the screw. Oh, at least all the screws are the same, same size, that's good. Right, it's not actually terribly exciting. I think we know pretty much what's going to be in that. I'll take it off anyway. There's the two thermocouple connections, just soldered onto two lugs, and uh, the spring-loaded release mechanism is just, yeah, just a little metal hook. So this is going to be a chip, isn't it? A chip on board, cob, blob, and it's going to have very little in the way of support components because really it is, when it comes to the crunch it's just a thermocouple isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. It's got what looks like a little voltage regulator for stability. I won't take this off, I, I know there's going to be a chip under this and it's going to be the typical um, thermocoupler meter type chip. Yeah, there's not an awful lot of surf, uh, support components, a few surface mount components there for the amplification of the thermocouple and that's about it. I don't want to take this off because as MD who has ever taken the LCD displays to bits with the zebra strips knows them, sometimes they don't really work very well once you put them back together again. But, um, oh, nice, classy. I like the way the LCD's just been, the, not the LCD, but the uh, display panel has just been stuck in randomly at a funny angle. But yeah, that's there's not an awful lot to it, but then I kind of didn't expect an awful lot to it. The, the, real, the real work is being done by this thermocouple here um, and this sort of tensioning system. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a useful tool.